Okay, so here you have the latest Magic Mirror board. This is version 4.0. Um, added a couple new things to this board. So before uh, you did all the wiring on these Cat5, so those are still there and supported. So if you're doing, uh, if you're familiar with Cat5 wiring, you just take take this, plug it in, and then on the other end, you wire this to your sensors and just follow the color codes. Um, it involves the soldering though, so it's not um, totally easy to do. So the new thing that we added here was we added these connectors here and these are pretty much plug and play. So let me just grab a wire here. So here I have an alcohol sensor which is for the breathalyzer feature which is another feature that we added in version 4.0 and all you do is you look at the board and you see right here it says breath sensor, kind of hard to read on the camera there, and um, just pop it in. So plug and play, pretty easy. And so there's a number of other sensors you can hook up. There's also a touch sensor. Um, this is made by uh, Seed Studio, which you can get, and you can find a link to it from the website. It also supports um, other kinds of touch sensors. So there's another one I have here from Fidgets. I've been using these um, a lot, they work great. So that's the Fidgets touch sensor. You can also plug it in here. Um, the Magic Mirror also supports a proximity sensor. And this basically senses, senses distance. So when you're near the mirror uh, at certain distances, it'll play certain things. So that one plugs into the first one here that says proximity. So that's another one. And also, this is just a normal switch, on-off switch, or rather a momentary on-off switch. And that one you can actually plug into here to trigger the breathalyzer, which is what most people would use it for. Or actually on these touch sensor inputs, that actually also works for there as well. But for now I'll just plug it in here. And this is open, I can put in another touch sensor if I want to. And then the last thing that it also has is the ability for an external potentiometer. So this is what you use to change the character. You just turn this. However, um, say you've got this mounted somewhere and this is not readily accessible, you may want to wire up the same thing but external so you can, get, you can mount it on something. So you can use this and this is also available from Seed Studio just plug it in and then you could mount this somewhere else and, and there you go so and then the last thing is it's got these screw terminals on the side these are really nice because you don't have to do any soldering you just um, use your uh, small screwdriver open up this and then clamp it down and then if you see here you look at all these numbers right there and it tells you let's see if we can see that on the camera tells you over here which each number stands for in terms of the sensor. So you just follow the numbers there, look at the little cheat sheet here, and you know which number uh, on the screw terminal goes to what. Most of these, well, most of these are LEDs, and then some of them are also some of the other digital inputs, which you see over here. Um, that's pretty much it. Oh, last, so this is the uh, X10 connector. So uh, this is an option, but if you take an X10 module this so what this does is it sends R X10 commands over RF so just take this and pop it in there and then now you're doing X10 control if you add this guy and you can configure the X10 addresses in the software that you want to use so that is it that is the magic mirror sensor hub version 4.0